Hello, I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. Welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. Today we are checking in a classic game. Um, I don't know about classic as in like chess, but classic as in not brand new. Uh, that is Robotech RPG Tactics, uh, put out by Palladium Books, Ninja Division, and some other people that were involved in it. This was a uh, Kickstarter that I would say was successful in the fact that it funded but not successful in the fact that it made all its backers happy. Um, they never did fully fulfill all of their pledges, and I do apologize on their behalf, though I have no nothing to do with myself, to all backers who didn't get their stuff. Um, personally, I grabbed this because I am a huge Robotech fan. I grew up watching Robotech. I got up early for school to watch Robotech. Um, Loved it growing up, all three of the different things, though Next Generation was always so-so. I preferred the other two series better. Um, or sorry, no, Masters. Next Generation was good. Ma Masters was the one that was so-so. And when I heard this game was coming out, I was really excited about it, but the price point was high, and then there was a bunch of legal issues. It was a mess. Um, I managed to get a copy of the second hand, and I got it for 20 bucks. so what the heck. And I figured, like a bunch of you, you've got to be curious about what's in this box. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to open this up. We're going to take a look at it. I am not even going to guarantee I'm ever going to play this game. I kind of want to put the miniatures together at least because I think if nothing else, this is going to be an awesome box for a bunch of cool Robotech toys. So we'll see. I'm going to show you on the back all the cool toys that come in here. So that's what I'm looking forward to, right, is all these minis. I have no idea if the game will ever get played. So we'll go through this just so I see it. So it's called Robotech RPG Tactics. Um, I think that's just because Palladium owned it and they wanted the word Robotech RPG in the title. I don't know why RPGs in there otherwise, because there's no role-playing element. Uh, prepare for invasion with Robotech RPG tactics. Take command of the deadly mecha fighting forces of the United Earth Defense Force, the Zentradi Armada, or the Malcontents. Robotech RPG tactics is an epic 6 millimeter scale battle game where players control whole armies from the Robotech universe. Take to the battlefield to crush your friends in a dynamic tactical game where the outcome is always hanging in the balance. Balance. Robotech RPG Tactics lets players enter the Robotech world in an exciting new way. Again, going off the fact that they had the Robotech license. Oh, I should also mention Robotech was owned by Harmony Gold. That's the third company that's involved. Uh, engage in small skirmishes, play out large battles. That seems weird. Engage in small skirmishes, play out large battles using difficult terrain, or extend your RPG games with these tactical rules and game pieces. So there, there is a tie into the role-playing game, it looks like. Also includes profiles and rules for never before seen parts of the Robotech universe. So it does look like there's some RPG elements here. That's better than I thought. There's a list of contents, but we're gonna open this up and take a look. Uh, this is for only two players. Uh, there's no other rules in here. It's a hefty box. We're gonna tip this down. First, I'm gonna cut the shrink or tear the shrink. Let's see, can I tear it? We can tear it. We're gonna take the shrink off and get rid of some of this glare. I will say one thing, it is a chunky box. That's gonna be an interesting one to fit on my game shelf. Look at the size of this thing. That is gonna be one of the chunkier boxes I have. It's no Gloomhaven, but it's up there. All right, tipping down. Let's take a look at what we get in the box. And it does not want to open. It's pressurized, it's under negative pressure. Come on. I can hear, it sounds like a model kit. I can hear sprues, plastic sprues, bouncing around. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite mech, the Warhammer. I don't think it's called that on here. I also dig this one too. All right, holy cow, look at the sprues. I feel like I just went to a Bandai factory. Look at that. So, if you had any thought this was just a board game, this should show you otherwise. This is a hobby miniature game. You got tons of little tiny bits on sprues. They're gonna have to be glued together. Th seriously, this looks like something out of um, Ravel or Bandai model kits. That is not your normal plastic miniature. There is, like there is significant assembly required here. Wow. Okay, we'll hold up some sprues. That's intimidating. This is enough that if I had bought this expecting a board game, I would return it right away. Like, wow. Are they all the same? No, they're definitely not all the same. So this sprue and this sprue are identical. So these are the, the battle pods, obviously. So 
we have two of those. Oh, that's different. This is the same, yeah. So another third sprue of battle pods, a fourth sprue of battle pods. All right, and then we got, looks like part of an officer's battle pod. And this is possibly the rest of the officer's battle pod. Possibly. Nice and color coded. All right, that's all the Zentradi stuff as far as I can tell. Wow, look at how tiny that is. Look at the Veritech. Look at how small that cockpit is. Like I know compared to say a Battletech miniature. Like look at these bits right here. I'd be scared just to cut those off the sprue. I don't know what those are. Are they the guns? Yeah, those are, it's the one of them is the torpedo. That looks like some kind of wow. It's like someone took like a, a, a Gundam kit. Well, obviously not a Robotech kit. The Robotech Defenders, like the nice, solid, tall miniatures, and like shrunk it. Whew. So one, two Veritex, three Veritex, four Veritex, five Veritex, all in um like flight mode flying. Um, this looks like it's going to be ones in Jerwalk mode, which is like the halfway. I don't know if that's the proper way to pronounce that. Wow, look at how tiny and detailed these minis are. I wonder if they're at all posable. Or if you're stuck with just building them one way. So that's another four. Veritex. Then I have no idea. Looks like Destroids probably. Yeah, it looks like a few different Destroids. That's the same sprue. Two of those. Oh, here's another Veritech in flight. No, nope, it's got legs, so it's got to be at least a jerk walk. And then we have standing up. Here's your standing. Veritex. Looks like two. Two per sprue. Man, that, wow. These models are tiny and detailed. That is not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting, you know, three to five part miniatures, not... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know, because there's different. Two of those? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many parts these are. That's crazy detail. Crazy. All right, what else we got? Oh, wow. <laughs> you know it's a model kit when you have the, the water base stickers that you can put on. Look at how tiny those are. Wow, that's shockingly tiny. Those were the, the good guys and then the Zentradi. Look at that text. So I gotta admit, it's way easier than painting these. But like the text here, that is ridiculous. Like I said, again, it feels like one of those full-size model kits at one half size. Okay, that's a nice template. That's bonus points. It's a nice, clear, see-through template. I wonder if that could be used in another game. All right, here you go. Ridiculous instruction on how to assemble these mecha. Look at this. So many parts. Oddly, there's a ruler, so I have to assume you use your range ruler to play. I can't see using this one playing. Go get a tape measure or something. Oh my God, look at that. How many components are required to put these together? Wow. Holy cow. All right, let's keep going. Um, we have an ad for Ninja Division. I wonder if those miniatures are just as bad as some of their other games. Um, oh, here's the Wave 1 expansions that were supposedly released. Now, here's where I think the problem is. I don't think this Wave 2 ever came out, from what I understand. These were never created, this Wave 2 expansion packs, which is what people are so upset about. But yeah, a list of expansions. And I gotta admit, I've been really tempted to pick up some Battle Pods because they've been really dirt cheap online just to put them together. But looking at building those, my God. Uh, oh, an ad for the Robotech game, role-playing game. Makes sense. Why wouldn't you put that in there? Makes perfect sense. And an ad for Rifts because, well, Palladium's biggest game has to be advertised. 
Uh, then we have some cards. Wow, does ever look like Battletech? You even got little boxes to check off, but it looks like it's only one box, like one type of box. All right, we'll cut these open. Take a look. At, what did I do with my hobby knife? There it is. Got it. Oh, they're kind of, they're not stuck together, but they're like stacked together. Art's really cool. So here you have one unit card for the four different unit types. It looks like the units just have health you chuck, mark off. What's nice is I can tell that's dry erase happy. So you can write right on them. Uh, here's a faction card for the malcontents, whoever they happen to be. There's a lot of text there, give me a background. So you got your Valkyrie squadron. Again, with all your info. Oh, these stuck together. There's a UF, UEDF, United Earth Defense Force card. Again, with a ton of just background, which is fine. And then you have the Zentradi Armada. So three factions. That's actually better than I thought. I thought it would only be two. Um, you have a Regult Attack Squadron, a Regult Attrition Squadron, and a Regult Recon Squadron. Art's top notch, but what do you expect? Harmony Gold and Palladium, right? Whole bunch of battle pods and it offers this battle pod all together. Way to track them. Next, we have a ton of bases. Oh, these are nice. These are actually the best component I've seen so far. They're nice, solid, chunky bases. They're not like most miniature bases, though. They almost feel like caps that would go on something. There's a little raised lip on the back. I'm not sure why. I, again, I haven't played the game to know. Maybe the lip just shows front facing. These have got some heft to them. Those are nice. Custom dice, which aren't all that custom, but they're cool. They're D6s with the RDF symbol on them, the Robotech Defense Force symbol on the six. I might steal these just to use for something else. So that's, that's just a nice die. So custom dice, but not custom sides. It's a whole bunch of those. Next, we've got little tiny red discs. I have a feeling these are going to go missing once I open them, but they kind of look like chiclets. They have symbols on them. Oh, it has an RDF symbol on them. Those are pretty cool. It's a little tiny. I don't even know what diameter that is. Maybe, maybe one centimeter across. Clear red disc with the RDF symbol etched into it. That's cool. It's cooler than it looked. Uh, my guess is these are going to have the Zentradi symbol on them, and they're purple. That would be my assumption, but I will confirm that. Yep. So similarly, little purple disc with the Zentradi symbol. Having not played the game, I don't know what they're for. Then we got a whole bunch more cards. I have no idea what these mean. Yes, I'll possibly get the feedback that maybe I should read up on the games before I unbox them. Possibly true. <laughs> I'll tell you what everything means when I do a review. Uh, cards are, again, they're, they're coated with something that makes them glossy, and they like to stick together. So you can kind of see I'm trying to spread them out. Art is fantastic, but again, it's Robotech. What do you expect? Oh, we've got characters. Ben Dixon. So these are all named characters. So these are probably pilots or something like that to go with your characters. You got your usual, you got Rick Hunter, Bray Fokker, Azonia, all characters from the show. Um, they've got some rules on the back just in text. I have no idea what this actually means game-wise. It says Mecha. This says plus one something. So there's special abilities on the back of the cards. Back of the cards are all just text. Very, very small text. Like, ridiculously kind of small text. I can't read that from back here. Here's Chiron. There's a character I definitely recognize. So front with artwork and then back with special abilities.
And then some of these Valkyries have a bit more to it, so I have no idea what these numbers mean. Focus Fire Leadership Leap. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like specific stats for this particular card. Artwork's great. Card quality is decent. Interesting reflective coating, but it works. Again, it makes me wonder if I could use a dry erase on these if I wanted to. All right, we have more cards. Little tiny Hobbit cards. Oh, these are smaller unit sets. So this is cool. So if you want to have like supplementary units or extra guys out of a thing. So these match the big unit cards we had earlier. Showing the little checkoff boxes for getting rid of mechs. So we have small units. Yeah, that's what these are. Little tiny Defender Destroid Squad. So smaller squads. I'm not going to go through all of these, but... I don't know what's up with this one. This says Upgrade. Command Destroid Upgrade. Tomahawk Squad. That's my Warhammer I love so much. So a whole bunch of those for all the different factions. For the different factions. Not all. There aren't a lot. All right. Finally, we got a rule book. For how big and loose this box is, there's nothing in here. Like, there's... Oh, I found more dice. I totally missed that. There's Zentradi dice, too. That's cool. So you have RDF dice in white and red. Then you have Zentradi dice in purple and yellow. With, again, the six is the symbol. Now I just want to play a Robotech powered by the Apocalypse game and bring these dice to be able to play. So the last thing in here... Oh, there's a larger base for at least one of the figures. Uh, is this rule book and you know, I talk about board game rule books all the time. I don't know if you can see that, but my god Like that's 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 a rule book uh, We are looking at a hundred and twelve pages. Wow Wow You're looking at lifestyle game here, right? It reminds me of when I first bought like Warhammer 40k Nice glossy pages Lots of artwork two column layout um, symbols in the corner. History of the Macross Saga. Well, if they're going to tell you everything about Robotech, that's obviously going to take some spots. Be interesting to know how much the rules are. Here's learning the rules. General concepts. So the rules, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, at least. 10, 11. You got ranged, hand to hand combat. 12, 13. 14, 15. Falling and terrain. 16, 17. Mecha special abilities. 18, 19. Weapon special abilities. I notice we're getting less and less art as we keep going. 20, 21. There's still some. 21 pages for the rules. And then it's basically army list. Yeah, now we're looking at the U the the U E D F. Yeah, all the different unit types, the stats for the units, artwork, pictures of all the different units. I'm gonna skip through most of this, but this part's sweet art. I love Mecca. I love the artwork. I love Robotech. This would be cool just to flip through and read. So yeah, what did I say? Twenty three pages of rules, approximately. And then we've got basically army books included. So that's not so bad. That's that's not nearly as bad when you realize that a lot of what you were looking at isn't the actual rules for the game. Fighting a battle. So I don't know if this is different or if this is combining it. Oh, this is scenarios. Okay, so we're looking at scenarios. Standing scenario rules. So basically we're back in the rules. You got a bunch of different ways to lay out your map. What's cool here is there's slots for different size tables. All right, I'm just going to flip ahead. We're 79 pages in. Um, tons of text. There's rules for campaigns. That's cool. Branching paths. There's painting guide. <laughs> Role-playing applications. See, that's cool. Wow, there's quite the painting guide. Actually, this is pages and pages of painting guide. And then there's a bunch of ads at the back. Fair enough. There's basically a painting guide for everything in the game. Looks looks interesting enough, but man, look at that. Like compared to most board games, that is a rule book. All right, so that is everything you get. Look at this mess. Look at this pile. Look at all these 
screws. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. I need to get to my box. So I gotta unbury all this stuff. Um, like, look at it, look at it all. Where the hell's the bottom of the box? For that. All right, we're gonna try to put the cards and stuff back in the bottom, but I kind of buried everything. Look at how small the transfers are. It's ridiculously tiny. Lots of cards. I think most people in this case that got this game probably stopped at these screws. Cause wow. So this is the disappointment, right? What do I do with all this stuff, right? Like I, th this is it. There's no insert. Like all this stuff just goes in here. That's a little disappointing. I can't decide if I want to keep this up to read it or not. You know what? I'll put it on the top. Then maybe I'll get to it. Cool dice. Really cool dice. Red and white RDF dice. Bonus there. I dig that. Except they're going to, again, go loose in the bottom. Bases. Awesome Zentradi dice. Dig those two. More cards. Uh, neat little RDF and Zentradi tokens. Kind of want to use those in something else, possibly. Those are nice, too. Some huge, large template, which I have to assume is for missiles, because we can't have Robotech without missiles. And while these, the, the ridiculous sprues with, re, like, insane number of pieces, like these struts, look at how tiny those struts are. Like, they're almost skinnier than, well, they're definitely skinnier, but, like, the width is smaller than my finger. Look at those tiny pieces. Wow. Like, here's three battle pods. Look at all this stuff on there. So many little tiny bits. And I said I was tempted to pick up more of these just to have more models. Don't pick this one up as a toy or just for the miniatures unless you want the hobby experience of clipping all these from sprues, cleaning them all up, and assembling them. Wow. I got to say, it doesn't look like they're posable either. It looks like they go together one way. Hard to tell. If I ever assemble any, I'll be sure to let you know. So many screws of little tiny bits. Jeez. This is for your, your standard Veritech. You're standing up. Like, look at that. Look at that sprue. That's for, for two models. Crazy. Crazy. Really crazy. All right, rule book. I got a disaster in here because of how I put the screws away. Let's try to spread them out a little. <laughs> so I get for just tossing them in. I don't have a flat way to put this rule book. Yeah, with no insert, this is kind of what you get. Definitely a hobby game. And then you're going to need a shelf. Like, you're not going to toss your miniatures back in this box. Basically, this box is done. What do you do with it at this point? Cool art on the sides. I can't complain about that. Like, cool looking. It's also cool. Also cool. See, I like that part. But yeah, like this box is going to be, like once you put all those together, they're on your miniature gaming shelf. You're not going to need this anymore. Repressurized. So there you have it. The Palladium Books Ninja Division Harmony Gold RPG, Robotech RPG Tactics. Um, I got to eat a little on this because there is a reason for the RPG. There are rules for the Palladium role-playing game in here, including rules for using this to do fight out combat. So fair enough. I was wondering why they put RPG in here. Um, the big thing, the, the big take-home from this is this is a hobby miniature game. This is an assemble your miniatures cut them off sprues, clean them, uh, wash off the mold release, paint them, put decals on them, hobby. Like to, to put these models together is definitely a commitment. You've got no Reaper bones here. You're not looking at three part models. You're looking like 30 piece models for each individual Veritech. Um, actual gameplay, who knows? I just took a look at it. There's some really nice cards in there. Uh, the fact the cards are coded so you can use um, dry erase on them is a really nice touch. 
rule books 112 pages that's that's a thick book that's a lot to get through to be able to play a play a board game or play a miniature battle game but again hobby game this is not your uh your pick up and play type of game so there you have it what comes in the robotech Ta rpg tactics box set yeah i know it's not a new one it's new to me and i really wanted to see what's in here i'll admit i was really excited to get all oh, i didn't put the lid on straight all these toys to play with but i don't know if i'm ever going to go through the trouble to assemble all those toys like that's crazy detailed models with very small pieces and these are not very small fingers <laughs> we'll say leave it at that uh so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing video if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when we get anything else go live you don't even have to hit the bell just hit subscribe hit the bell too if you want to get notified uh, hit the follow button you happen to be watching on Twitch. You can find me everywhere, all over the internet, as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. The hub of all that is at tabletopbellhop.com. That's our website where you can find our unboxing videos, actual play videos, news, reviews, and answers to your gaming questions. Speaking of which, if you've got a gaming or game-related question, send it to me at questions at tabletopbellhop.com or go to that website, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. Finally, I just want to mention we do have a Patreon at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Uh, head over there if you feel the desire to tip your bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.